Google has launched an amazing update. You can now transcribe the speech during a Google Meet call and it will go into a Google Doc. We'll talk more about this and give you a demonstration, but I do want to remind you to definitely check out the additional resources posted in the description to learn more about this amazing update. Hello, you can see I'm in a currently in a Google Meet environment. I'm in a live meeting by myself. However, this activity is to show you how you can transcribe. Let's go ahead and make sure you know how to transcribe in a Google Meet environment. I'm going to go ahead and click on the activities window at the bottom right hand side. Click on activities and you will see a new option to select transcripts. I'm going to go ahead and select transcripts and I'm going to go ahead and click start transcription. Now, this screen is very important. You should be familiar with this screen when you record a Google Meet as well. You should always ask for consent to your attendees if it's okay for you to record, in this case, transcribe. So again, get the thumbs up, get the yes, get the okay, and go ahead, once you have the consent, go ahead and click start. I'm currently transcribing this Google Meet. How do you know? You will get this visual indicator at the top saying this call is being transcribed. It's a great way to know what you're saying is being recorded into a Google Doc environment as well. And we know that a Google Doc is stored where? In Google Drive. So it's on record and discoverable if, if requested. With that being said, you made the conscious decision to describe and you got the consent from others. Now, you can make a conscious decision as well to stop the transcription. You can always go back down to the activities window, click on transcripts and stop the transcription. I'm going to go ahead and do so. And I've got another pop up to verify. Are you sure you want to stop transcribing this meeting? The answer is yes. I'm going to go ahead and stop the transcription. Now, what happens after the call? We're going to go ahead and walk through that process. It's really easy and you'll get notified of the transcription and it will be also if it's in a calendar invitation, it will also be posted there as well. So let's go ahead and get out of this Google Meet and back into our inbox in our calendar app. Now that the transcription is ready to be viewed and it's been uploaded, who receives this email? Well, it depends. The host, the organizer of the event would receive this copy of the transcript in their inbox. Any co-host would as well, or the person that turned on the transcripts. Keep in mind, transcripts of longer meetings do take a little bit to process. So please allow time for the automated email to arrive. So, Trader 13 was the organizer of this event and also initiated the transcript. So let's go ahead and open up this transcript. I'm going to go ahead and click open and drive. Keep in mind, it's stored in Google Drive and it's in Google Doc format. It's also stored in your meeting recording folder inside your Google Drive. Let me just quickly show you. Under the folder icon, you will see it's been automatically placed in the meetings recording folder. The owner of this particular document will be Trainer 13 because Trainer 13 is the host or the organizer of the calendar event. As you can see, it is a computer generated transcript. You, you might find a few errors, but you'll be pretty impressed of how well it can transcribe the speech of that Google Meet. It will keep track of the attendees and so much more and when the call was ended. So it's a great way to track and keep record of your particular important meetings. Since this particular Google Meet was tied to a calendar event, much like your Google Meet recordings, it's also attached to the calendar event. Let's go ahead and click on the calendar event and you will see that there is a transcription down here as well. It functions very similar to a Meet recording. The people that were invited to that meeting will also have automatic access to um, view and edit the content. Before I end this training video, I just want to give you a few more tips and tricks regarding this transcription availability for you inside Google Meet. If you join a Google Meet and the call is being transcribed, you will get the same red text appear when you're ready to join. It's giving you a indicator that the call is being transcribed before you enter the Google Meet. We're again, very similar when you join a call that's being recorded. I can't emphasize enough to make sure you check out the additional resources posted below to get you more familiar with this transcription availability in Google Meet. Thank you.